10 Bizarre Disappearances. 10. Anna Christian Waters In September of 1967, a little girl was born. Her name was Anna Christian Waters, and she disappeared mysteriously at the very young age of 5. On the day in question, well, it seemed like a typical day to little Anna and her parents. Anna went to school that morning and came home that afternoon without a hiccup. Everything seemed fine. She was in kindergarten, and she was the ideal American perception of an innocent little girl. That day in 1973, after school was over, she was playing in her family's backyard in Parisima Canyon, California. That is when she disappeared. Her family said they heard her talking to someone out there, but they assumed it was the cats. Despite massive search efforts, no one was able to find the little girl who disappeared from her backyard, and there are a few theories that surround this disappearance, but in all likelihood, this little girl was kidnapped from her own backyard. 9. Donald McKay Donald was an Australian citizen who disappeared on July 15, 1977. He was a notorious campaigner for the anti-drugs movement in Australia. He was very concerned about the growing presence of drugs in his community, and so he decided to do something about it. He learned of a large marijuana crop growing in his area. He told the Drug Enforcement Police. Four men were arrested for this, but at their trial, they became aware that Donald was the one who ratted on them. They did not take kindly to this. On that fateful day in July, he disappeared from a hotel parking lot. Three spent 22 casings were found at the scene of the crime as well as drag marks on the ground. His body was never found, but it is likely that he was killed and disposed of by accomplices of the men who he was responsible for busting. Eight, Bill Tillman and his crew. Bill Tillman was a renowned British explorer and mountaineer. He conducted many famous sailing voyages and he had always come back alive and well, until he didn't. With an extensive list of explorations and successful ones at that under his belt, no one expected him to disappear so suddenly while sailing to the Falkland Islands. It is thought that he and his crew all went down with the ship on the route and that is why they disappeared. However, this cannot be verified because no such trace of them has ever been found. A tragic disappearance for such an accomplished man who conducted over 30 expeditions and wrote over 15 books. 7. Luis and Shermian Faulkner Luis and Shermian Faulkner were a mother and daughter who mysteriously disappeared from their home in St. Kilda, Australia in 1980. No one has ever been charged for their disappearance because they seem to have gone missing without a trace. Their last known sighting was just before the disappearance where the mother and daughter attended the birthday party for Luis's friend's son. There have been searches and inquiries that have been conducted, but none of them have been successful and to this day no one knows what happens to the Faulkners. The overpowering theory is that they were murdered and that was how it was decided during a coronial inquest in 2006. Officially, the pair have been determined dead. 6. Kevin Andrew Collins This young man disappeared from the street on his way home from basketball practice in San Francisco in 1984. He was the first child to be put in the Have You Seen Me ads on milk cartons. He was also featured in the cover of Newsweek and various other publications. Despite all this media coverage, he was never found and it is very likely that he was abducted and killed. This has never been proven though. In 2005, an identity thief tried to use Kevin's name to obtain a passport, but he was caught and arrested for identity theft. The house of the man was searched and the cadaver dog smelled a corpse in the house. Everyone thought that Kevin had been found but it turns out that it was just a decaying animal under the house. Kevin is still missing to this day. He would be around 40 years old now, and he was 10 when he disappeared. 5. Patricia Meehan Patricia Meehan disappeared after a car accident under mysterious circumstances in April of 1989. She was involved in a car crash, and initially the police believed she had fled the scene on foot. This theory was put to rest rather quickly, and then it was thought that she might have been suffering from amnesia induced by a concussion. The last person who saw her, her landlord, said she was acting very out of character, very hyper, and that was very strange for her, a typically relaxed individual. The crash occurred near Circle, Montana. The person she hit, Carol Heights, was unarmed. She claimed that Patricia had walked up to her and stared at her strangely, then walked off and looked over the scene one last time before disappearing over a fence. No one has seen Patricia since, and the leading theory is that she was suffering from amnesia, and this began long before the car crash happened. 4. The Springfield Three these three women, Cheryl Levitt, Suzanne Streeter, and Stacy McCall, all disappeared on the same night, at the same time, and in the same place. This occurred in 1992 in Springfield, Missouri, and it is an unsolved disappearance. Cheryl Levitt was the mother of Suzanne Streeter, and Stacy was Suzanne's friend. The two young women had just graduated from Kickapoo High School the night before, and they were going to Cheryl's home that evening. There was going to be a party, and there was, but it was too crowded, they decided, and left. Mysteriously, they disappeared. The police searched for them, and Stacy's parents were one of the first to call the authorities. This disappearance has been a mystery since it happened and no one knows what happened. The only theory is that convicted kidnapper and suspected murderer Robert Craig Cox was responsible. He lived in the area. 3. Grant Hadwin 
1997, Canadian forest engineer Thomas Grant Hadwin went missing. He was a very strongly opinionated anti-logging activist, despite the fact that his family was heavily involved in the logging industry. His disappearance occurred in Masset, British Columbia, in the forest. He was out kayaking in the woods before he went missing. He had a court appearance for his extremist actions as an activist a day after he disappeared. His kayak was found upriver from where he set off, but no trace of Grant was ever found. It is highly believed that he was avoiding prosecution for violent extremism, in which he was a part of, and so he decided to disappear into the woods, and that was the best way to do that. 2. Kaylin Lauder this picture is a clip from a video in which a girl, Kaylin Lauder, mysteriously disappears. The circumstances that surround this event are very strange and as of yet unexplained. One of the days leading up to the occurrence, Kaylin had called the police to report potential violence going on in her apartment complex. She then called twice more. Once, she just hung up and the second time, she was mumbling and incoherent. She said her roommate called her delusional and paranoid. The next day, she called 911 again and she was claiming that there was an intruder in her house who was stealing things. Her roommate tried to convince her that no one was there and the police found no evidence of a break-in. All these peculiar circumstances led up to what happened the next day after her third call to the police. She was out for a walk and that is when the security camera in her apartment complex captured this video. She was out walking her dog in the rain and she seemed to be acting delusional in the video. Then suddenly, as shown in the clip, she ran off, leaving her dog behind. This is strange behavior as she loved her dog and despite a massive search for her that lasted nine weeks, she was not found. A while later, her family was horrified to know the body of Kaylin was discovered in a drainage ditch. Why she was there and what circumstances led her to go mad and then disappear and die are unknown to this day. 1. Jim Robinson Jim Robinson was a boxer who was famous for many victories in his career. He was even in a fight with Muhammad Ali. He had been in the public eye for most of his life and he was a well-renowned sports star. His last interview was conducted by Sports Illustrated in 1979. Since that interview, he has gone completely off the grid and no one knows where he is or has been. ESPN sports writer Wright Thompson has conducted a six-year search for the missing athlete and still his whereabouts are unknown. This strange disappearance is likely the result of a man who wanted out of the public eye and just picked up and left. However, no one can prove anything on this subject, it is just as likely that something has happened to him.